Are you last pick? Are you getting stuck with 80 carry? Well, fear not, motherfucker, cause I'm about to change your world! With this! Yeah! Oh my god, she's so cute! Look at her little animal he has and a smile! Oh my god, her eyes are so big! She looks like an anime character! She's so adorable! Oh my god, oh my god, I'm- Alright, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you can't play Tristana, there is absolutely no hope for you. Just uninstall this game and move on, because playing Tristana is about as complicated as playing Cookie Clicker. She is one of the safest and easiest champions in the entire game, and all it requires of you is that you're capable of right clicking. Now, admittedly, her early damage isn't at the level that she can just sneeze in your general direction and win the lane, but that's okay because get this, every time you kill a unit, it explodes and damages units around it. This brings me back to a quote that my grandfather told me a long time ago. He said, Trin, life is suffering. Suffering is kidney stones, but you know what we do to kidney stones? We push them out, no matter how much it hurts. Which is exactly what you gotta do with Tristana. Just push the lane and keep your opponents under their tower. Now, you might be thinking, but Trin Immortal, would that make me easy to gank? It would if it weren't for her stupid fucking Super Mario Leap bullshit. Nobody can even get close to you because of how ridiculously far you can jump. And even if they did, your ultimates are like, nope. You just blow them away to die, rejected and alone in a fiery explosion. Oh, did I forget to mention that? Yeah, in addition to perma pushing, your stupid fucking E also allows you to drop a bomb on your victim's head, charge it up with auto attacks, and explode to deal a hymen shredding amount of damage. And her Q makes it that much easier to fully charge it with all the free attack speed she gets, and then the icing on the cake is she can use this shit on towers! By the time she has a couple items, Tristana can walk up to anything on the map and just click on them and watch them regret all of their life decisions in the span of like 2 or 3 seconds. She's basically vain because she has mobility, insane DPS, and a knockback. But unlike Fane, she takes absolutely no skill to play, has like twice the range, and her jump resets on kills and assists. Do you realize what that means? It means that if she gets even one kill, which she will, she's gonna be bouncing more than my checks after I inevitably give in and buy all the chroma packs, even though I honestly don't like any of them. <laughs> I might have a problem. Don't be surprised when enemy veins realize that they'll never carry as hard as you and simply give up on life. You can't blame her. And don't be afraid to go all Super Mario on some motherfuckers and teach these goombas to focus on playing the game rather than typing. Remember the Siva video. Rule number five, bitch! So the next time you're stuck with 80 carry, just pick Tristana! And even you will be able to do something like this. She got me like...